with producing, well, I've noticed. Is that called the producer headache? Yes, it is. It is now, if it was before. Uh, we need a term. <laughs> okay, so next we need to figure out what exactly. Uh, um, hey, guys. Hi. There we go. <laughs> I, forgot, uh, I forgot how much fun it is to throw the frisbee around. Are you having fun? Oh, yeah, totally. Um, are you guys having fun? Yeah? You thirsty? Uh, yes. Casey's just uh, teaching me her Producing magic. I'm trying to. I hate producing, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know what? I'm gonna give this back to you. <laughs> She's not interested. Uh, I'm gonna go back to throwing the frisbee and uh, have fun, okay? Okay. How's that going? Yeah, good. I'm just kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop, though. Well, don't screw it up. Me and Jalen are really shipping Layton. Layton? Did you name us? <laughs> you have a really good ship name. Be happy. We are happy. Right now. Layton? Why not something like Puka or something? That's really bad. Is it? <laughs> yeah. So you should stick with Luca. <laughs> Tell me about Luca. How did that end? Um, it, we were at a party. Well, no, technically it was the next day. Uh, she basically threw herself at me, saying she was choosing me. But, um, she was with someone else. So you made the choice not to accept her offer? Uh, well, honestly, there was a moment before all of that had happened that I kind of knew it was over. It was months before that. It started with chicken parm. You're starting to look. How have you never had chicken parm? I don't know. I just never had it. I uh, guess I haven't ventured out enough. We were eating this meal, one that I had never had, in a place that was way out of my league. You know, they served it at the school cafeteria. Yeah, but it was on the same day as a chicken sandwich, so... Uh, good point. I just remember feeling so distant. Uh, how do you like your new place? Uh... It's, it's pretty great. It's weird being an hour away from everyone, but it's really nice being in Kansas City. Uh, and your roommates, do you like them? Mm, yeah, we're basically like sisters. And meanwhile, she was building this life with her friends and school and Joey. Um, and Joey? Uh, yeah, everything's good with them. Cool. It just, it felt like it was the beginning of the end. So when she tried to get me back, or whatever that was, I... I guess I made a choice that I already saw her making. So you made an adult choice to let her find happiness? Yeah. Adult choice, maybe. Good choice? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> you gotta make bad choices! Podcast bad choices! Hey. Okay, maybe not bad choices, just choices I can't make around the kids. Okay, but guess some bad choices. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, what are you thinking? Alcohol, gambling, striking. I was thinking ice cream. Isabel, ice cream? How yes. is that bad? I have to share my ice cream every chance I get it, and I want that shit to myself. So can we please go get ice cream before we get this trip on the actual road? <sighs> okay, fine. Yeah. Alright, Patrick, send it to so was Peyton upset that we basically set the two of you up? No, I think she was just surprised, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just really happy that she was happy to see me. How's all that going? Pretty good, I think. Uh, we're venturing around in the camper until it's time for Victor's cabin. Whoa, that's like living together. That's what she said! Well, what would you call it? Cohabitating. <laughs> Luca, you're sharing a bed on wheels. Yeah, whatever. I just want to make sure that this works. What do you mean? That we work, you know? I'm in this 100%. I just need to make sure that she is. We worked in and out of the dorms, and we worked in the cabin, but what about now? And you thought a bed on wheels was the best way? Well, I am very direct. <laughs> Do you hear that? What? Nothing. This is happening. No kids screaming, oh, can I have some? Can I have some of your ice cream? We need something so basic would give you so much pleasure. Oh, live here. We're getting older. Those are simple things that matter now. Okay, well, speaking of getting older and simple pleasures. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like they know that I have ice cream. Just. What was that thought? Oh. Hello? Yeah, I'll just tell you my big news later. I think we can shoot this thing over a three week period, but that's if we do everything right and we stay on time. I think we can do it in 15 days. Casey, are you crazy? We just have to push Peyton. You'd be surprised what you can accomplish when you push for it. I am trying, you know. I know. Producing isn't a cakewalk. No, I mean with Luca. I'm hesitant for so many reasons, but I don't know. I'm just trying to tune out all the loud noise and make it work. I just feel like we're on the verge of a major decision. I don't know, part of me just wants to say, screw it. I don't care about major life decisions, but I completely get it. You're lucky. You have the love thing all figured out. Jalen just seems like a really great partner. They are. And you're just a big shot producer. <laughs> yeah, okay. What more could you ask for? Yeah. What more can I ask for? <laughs> anyway, speaking of. Yeah. Oh, I was crazy. Good. They are better than me. And then, um, I, I caught it with my face. <laughs> you caught it with your face? I did. I did. Yeah, I, don't know. I think I'm afraid now. <laughs> afraid to make the wrong choice, the immature choice. But being the adult doesn't always feel good either. I mean, how can I choose what makes me feel good without feeling completely selfish? Okay, I'm gonna propose something that might sound crazy to you. What if we reframe how you're seeing these choices? I'm listening. From everything you've said, you inherently place these black and white labels on everything. Good versus bad, mature versus immature, selfish versus selfless. All of this stems from one place. Which is fear. What if going forward we put these choices into two categories, hopes and fears? I think if you make your choices stem from your hopes instead of your fears, you might save yourself from a lot of questioning and heartache.
what parts we've been through. So be still, you don't always have to have an answer. Be still, you'll be fine with a little bit of doubt. So be still, you don't always have to have an answer. Staring down into the eyes of fear Cause I've learned to heal with more than near So be still, you don't always have to have an answer Be still, you'll be fine with a little bit of doubt So be still, you don't always have to have an answer Figuring out, you don't always have to figure it out. So, what is it? What do you choose? Hopes or fears? To be still, you don't always have to have an answer. Be still, you'll be fine with a little bit of. 